on my phone, so I'll go back later. It's a good thing I can charge it with my solar backpack. So well, anyway, I'll get started with the presentation. Welcome to this uh, second presentation of Unplug. We are Lumos, and uh, we're a company that integrates solar technology and product design to create products you can use in your daily life. Our product today is coincidentally called the Unplug Bank. And I will quickly tell you a little bit about who I am and my teammate here. I'm Lavina Bakshi, I head product design. Uh, I have a panel design experience. And along with our technology team and our awesome management team from IIM Bangalore, we put together this bright idea. So our bright idea has its origins with uh, Gandhar Bakshi's previous job. So Gandhar Bakshi was a consultant and his job required him to travel a lot from pillar to post, from client presentation to yet another meeting, take on calls on his phone. He was a very busy guy, basically. And he found that at 9 a.m., his phone had full charge. But at 5 p.m., I mean, he was out of charge, and he constantly had to look for the plug point at the client's location, or say, oh, hold the meeting for 10 minutes while I charge my phone. This is very embarrassing. I'm sure you understand that, right? So he decided to start carrying a solar charger with him, his battery back up. But then he realized that it just became another device and eventually got relegated to the back of his closet. Which is when we got together and we built the first generation of our solar backpack. So what we did is that we just integrated a solar panel into his backpack, which he used on a daily basis. And this worked really well for him, especially in direct sunlight, it worked awesome. But what happens is that you don't spend your whole day in the sun, do you? Which is why this wasn't a perfect solution for him. And then we created the second generation of backpack, where we just added a battery along with the solar panel into the bag. This worked a lot better. This meant that even when there wasn't daily sunlight, uh, the solar panel was still charging the battery. So whenever he wanted to charge his phone, even if it was at night, he simply plugged it into the bag and it charged. There were a few glitches that still remained, such as the solar panel wasn't as efficient and it was too rigid, which is why we made a few changes and this leads us to today's product which is our unplugged laptop backpack. So today's backpack features a large solar panel in the front, which is flexible. It can take a certain amount of impact, wear and tear, things that you usually do with your bag, like throw it around when you get home. Apart from which, it is also made of waterproof fabric, and it is padded and insulated, so your battery will not explode. It is rainproof, and it also charges phones, MP3 players, handheld devices, and most small devices in general. So to conclude, this product, the Unplugged Backpack, is launching in the 1st of January 2013. And you can buy it at lumos.co.in. You can pre-order it and leave your details with us. We'll get back to you on the final price. Thank you. This was really a short demo. In fact, the demo concluded in the first uh, 10 seconds when we charged the phone using the backpack. We are open for questions. Hello. Yeah. So, any questions? Yes. Are you uh, are you uh, offering only the panel or the bag? Oh, uh, we are integrating it with the backpack. So, we are offering the entire bag. And uh, yeah. But I love my backpack too much. <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully, in fact, we should probably find out what you love about your backpack so that we can make a backpack in a similar way but make people love it more. Uske present diya tha yaar. Ah, emotional attack. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, just uh, very cool. Great product. What's the defensibility of it? How defensible is the technology? Uh, okay, so we'll not get too much into the details of it because it's uh, under the painting process. But uh, basically what happens is that you have a solar panel. Uh, this is a fairly large flexible solar panel and what it does is it's continuously charging of a battery which is built into the backpack. Uh, so to explain, a solar panel produces electricity, right? Even a minuscule amount of electricity under most lighting conditions. So what we do is that we take even that minuscule amount of energy or electricity and charge the battery inside. So when you want to charge your phone, you charge your phone out of the battery, not the solar panel directly. So throughout the day, uh, throughout the night, whatever, not night again, if you don't have night, it doesn't charge. But throughout the day, your panel is charging the battery inside and that battery is what uh, ultimately charges your phone. And again, uh, we have various connectors to charge your phone and we use something called fast charging technology, uh, which is also a technology that 
some of the larger players like Reva use uh, when they tie up the solar panels with their cars. So we use fast charging to charge the battery within the backpack through the solar panels. So that's a very rough explanation. Uh, two quick, sorry, yeah, yeah. this buddy. Uh, two quick ones. One is the what is the additional weight that actually is added to the uh, bag that you use. That's one. The second is the what is the range of the devices that you know, like from an iPod to a laptop. So could we just give some more details on what is the range of devices that can be charged? Yes. Uh, so I didn't get the first question. I'm sorry. Could you repeat the first question? The weight that gets added. Okay. So it's fairly light. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah. So it probably adds another 60, 70 grams of weight, which is fairly minuscule, right? And uh, so to give you a rough idea, you can feel the battery of your phone and that's roughly the amount of weight that gets added, plus a little more. Uh, so to go on the range of devices that it charges, it, uh, it's not sufficient for a laptop I would say, but most small devices, you take an MP3 player or uh, let's say I have a Bluetooth hands-free, that also gets charged with this. Any small device typically will get charged with this, that includes a handle camera which comes with a micro USB connector, that will get charged, a phone, most phones will get charged. So small devices would get charged. For tablets, we haven't uh, gone there yet, but we, below tablets, anything else would get charged. Of course, you'll have to check with the connector. So before uh, placing any order, please check with us. Hello. Yes. Hello, my name is John. I'm from uh, I, I don't think the mic is on. Uh, while that's going on, by the way, there's also uh, Santosh who can go around with the backpack. So if you want to feel the solar panel and see it charging, you can just do that. <laughs> Yeah, my name is Rahul. Why backpack? I mean, this is. I understand you are trying to have solar integrated in charging, but having just a case might make sense, right? Why backpack? Uh, what do you mean by a case? A uh, case for the phone. Yeah. For the phone. See, the problem is this, right? So we actually tried out all the solutions, but uh, in the way solar energy works, is that the amount of area exposed is usually how much electricity you get. So a case area is typically fairly small and you also typically keep your phone and your phone case within a pocket which is not usually exposed. So we really wanted that solution first but then it doesn't integrate very well with your daily lifestyle. So a backpack provides an adequate area for the solar panel as well as more often than not a backpack is somewhere outdoors. Right? Even if it's not being exposed to the sunlight, it's being exposed to some light at least within your office. So that's why we integrated it into a backpack, it just goes with a daily lifestyle better. How many additional hours of talk time do I get based on average charge as well as average consumption? That's a good question. So uh, we tied out various models and so on an average you will get uh, I would say around 3 hours of backup right? with this. Again this answer can vary wildly depending on what you want to do. If you play movies then obviously you will kill it faster. So a normal average thing right? when you talk on the phone for a while, you maybe have a phone call or so, you will get 3 hours of backup per day. Uh, by the way, to further your question, we have built another thing into this. We also built in AC charging, so that uh, let's say you want a 100% backup and just 2 hours of backup will not do. I, I myself need it because I travel out of station occasionally. Uh, in that case, what you can do is you can AC charge the battery fully and that will charge your phone from 0 to 100%. No, not just 2-3 hours, but take it fully. So that's another added option that we are providing in this. But on a daily basis, you can get 3 hours of backup. Is there any plan to offer just the panel and the battery? Uh, no, actually, you see, we, we tried that, right? I mean, but how would you, ca I mean, uh, so the first thing we tried was to carry just the panel and the battery around. Mm -hmm. But how do you go around with it? Like, I tried to go around with it. So, where do you expose the panel so on, on something basis? like this? Because this is what I carry, I don't use a backpack anymore. Oh, that, okay, so that's a great idea for a future product portfolio, right? Right. Because you should talk. This. And and as I see here, uh, the size of your panel, it's much smaller than this, so I don't think it should be a problem. You can actually integrate that into what you're building, so that might be part of a future portfolio. Thank you. Brothers, on your uh, I get royalty right. on that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> on your right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my question is, uh, why do you need a solar panel? Right? You said you have AC charges. Yes. Uh, how much in ampere hours, let's say normal battery for 1000 milliampere hours, right? One battery. How much in ampere hours does the solar panel actually provide in a normal day for a office going kind of a guy who doesn't go out in the sun much? Exactly. So actually, I mean that's what we built it for. So the assumption when I said three hours of backup, we are assuming that the person does not spend any time in direction light, absolutely none, right? Uh, so the panel is supposed to work within your office or within your car, 
because you don't get exposure to direct sunlight. So in terms of how much current does it produce, that's probably getting a little technical. But uh, the panel is meant to produce anywhere up to 350 MA of current. It doesn't do that always. So depending on the current, it can go as low as 50, it can go as high as say 300. <coughs> so the rating is much higher, but this is what you would probably get on an average. And the battery of course is much higher than that. Last question. Yeah. Oh, I just want. Yeah. Where? Yeah. I just want to know. Like, I saw in your presentation that you collaborated with IIT Kanpur, or uh, IIT Chennai, I guess. To make the product, right? Yeah. You're not collaborated. Uh, so, for example, I, I, I'm an alumnus of IIT Madras. Mm -hmm. So, I do have a few professors no. there who are helping me. And okay. I just want to know, like, suppose yeah. someone has an idea for product design and he has a product in mind. So, but not everybody is a techie or an engineer or a mechanical engineer. He cannot build that stuff. Okay. But he has the idea and he wants to build that stuff. So, how do you have a common platform where you can meet with the engineers and the techies? And you can gather up, you know, do you have a platform that where you can meet them up and uh, you can discuss and you can build a prototype, you know? Do you have a common platform? That's what I want to know that. How, to, how do you go about it, you know, as an entrepreneur who wants to start a new product? That's what. True, true. Yeah. So uh, I was probably a little lucky in that sense. Yeah. But uh, I'm presuming that even otherwise, right? All this, all the, firstly, the processes are always very approachable. And uh, typically most of the institutes have incubation centers, they do assist in prototype building, etc. So I personally haven't tried that because I had uh, my personal relationship in place, the institute, right, being an alum, etc. But I suspect you should be able to find these incubation centers which will also help you in prototype building. But uh, we could probably discuss it offline and see if I can get you more information on this. Does this thing, do we have a common platform? I don't think right now that we have a common platform where guys can meet the techies and Develop products. That's, 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 that's the only thing which I want to know.